All right, my next goal here is to get rid of some of the actual hash marks on her. Here we have a blender. And this is the same blender that's over here. It's just the fact that I mounted it with one of the brushes that I created earlier, the pockmark one. And this was in the first or third video that I actually made that brush. But I attached it to the smooth brush and then took the smooth brush and turned it on to... Uh, I got finger painting, sample all layers. I have... Uh, here's my brush. Menu. That's what I was looking for. Uh, scattering on and some shape dynamics. There we go. So now you get the idea how to make that. So by having all this available, what I can do is zoom, take this area, and basically it will take the contrast out. So the bad thing about this is it kills um, resolution. So you can see right here how it basically smeared out that one part right there. Um, one of the things that you should be wary of is, you know, early on smoothing becomes kind of a pain. If you go to turn on your other layers, you'll find out why. Let's see here, layers. If I turn these two layers on, you can see that this area right here has, you know, some nice tone to it. But <laughs> see what happens? Okay, so sample all layers, take that off. You can see it's just blurring my sketch to death. Okay. So I don't want that just yet. And if I did, I certainly wouldn't want it strength as it is. Another option is uh, my soft blender, which is just about the same as this blender. But this blender doesn't take away resolution. It puts resolution in. It puts it at a different value. So if I chose this little bit... A uh, lighter value here. You can see that by clicking in the area, it just takes and uh, paints over the actual scratches. But it keeps a resolution in there. And you can kind of see. What I'm going to do is just dodge around a little bit on this. So there's another option to get rid of harsh changes. Another thing, because there's so many different ways to actually do this, is if I took my gummy one, and the gummy eraser is just the exposure on dodge turned way down. This is kind of my favorite method because it just tones down the actual um, pencil lead a little bit. See, now it's just not so obvious. The one thing that you'll notice in digital work is another thing is the highest the contrast value, the better it is as a thumbnail. Uh, the problem is most of these contrast ratios in here, like this, for example, see this dark piece? I want to knock that down because your eye goes to them first. Your eye will always travel to the darkest regions and the most sharp regions of your uh, sketch. So if I can just tone down all but here, uh, you'll find that it becomes where the eye goes traveling right to her face and nowhere else. So that's a lot of times I'll just kind of dodge around a little bit, getting rid of these real dark regions. And the same with, you know, the actual gummy eraser that you use in real life, the kneaded eraser or much kneaded eraser.
So there we go. Lots better. And again, always blur your vision. Always, always blur your vision. Zoom out, kind of see what you're seeing first. Now I'm starting to see the eye first before anything else. And I'm also seeing this back eye, which I'm going to kind of tone this down. And tone it down just a little bit. The eye will need to be repaired anyway. Yeah, that's much better. All right, so to make her pseudo glow, that's what, what I want to do. I want to give the impression that she's just kind of glowing in some nature. So that's in the next video. That's just, this video is just toning down uh, contrast.